Thank you, Chairman, for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very happy to be here today. Oops. Thank you. To introduce you uh, our latest development on how devices. So the title of my presentation today is uh, Low Power, High Sensitivity System of Chip, uh, How Effect Sensor. This uh, work is done in Global Foundry, Singapore. So this is the outline of my presentation today. First, I will give a brief introduction of, about how device its application and uh, the Global Foundry's offering on uh, system on chip how devices. I will then talk about the device fabrication and the characterization used in this work, uh, followed by results and discussion. Uh, lastly, I will wrap up this presentation with a quick summary. So as we all know, when uh, current parting through a same piece of uh, semiconductor material, the external uh, magnetic field will exert force on the charge carriers, causing the different potential between these two points. By using the, this phenomenon of how we actually can do a lot of things. For example, we can sense the rotation or speed of the magnet. We can also like uh, uh, measure the position change of the magnet using a hot chip. Uh, lastly, we can also uh, detect the current flow through the thin wire. All those uh, very basic uh, applications can be extended to a very wide range of industrial and uh, automotive application. Because of the uh, unique advantage of how sensor and how switch, uh, which they do not require any physical contact during the operation, the how device actually offer a better uh, long-term uh, uh, reliability as compared with uh, uh, conventional uh, mechanical based uh, switches. So it has been uh, <coughs> projected that the, the how device market actually can keep US dollar 1.6 billion at the end of uh, two, uh, year 2021. So because of the strong uh, market demand and the requirement from customer, actually a global foundry uh, divide our own uh, how device offering. Uh, what is uh, more for our offering is that we not only uh, provide a standalone how device, but we also integrate it with uh, other like uh, offering in our uh, wide range of uh, library. For example, we can integrate the hall device with a uh, basic uh, low voltage device, logic device. We can also do it with uh, medium voltage. And we can also, like, uh, lastly, we can also do it together with our high V device, which can go up to 85 volts. So in order to have a good isolation between those uh, 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 different circuit elements of the SOC and <coughs> circuits, we use uh, this uh, so-called deep trench isolation technology, so we, uh, there will be no uh, crosstalk between the devices. So by using our system on chip, uh, how device technology, our customer actually achieve a better circuit performance and functionality. Uh, they can also like uh, achieve like a more reliable circuit, smaller size, low cost, and uh, uh, more uh, power like uh, consumption saving. Uh, over here, the slide shows our uh, high V and uh, uh, BCD uh, offering roadmap. Actually, you can see we have a quite extensive offering uh, from 180 nanometer technology node uh, down to 40 nanometer technology node. All those uh, uh, platforms are mainly targeted for analog and uh, power applications. Uh, for the time being, the whole device offering is uh, we are offering uh, on the 180 nanometer technology node as well as a 130 uh, nanometer technology node. It will be further extended to a more advanced node uh, uh, in the short while. Uh, take note that uh, all those uh, offerings, they are not only for industrial uh, application. Some of the platform actually is for automotive, for example, for 130 BCD is automotive uh, certified. Next, I uh, will talk about the uh, device fabrication and the characterization. So uh, when we divide the whole device uh, for our baseline process, actually uh, besides the uh, performance, one of the uh, requirements for us is that we do not introduce uh, uh, much cost for our customer if they prefer to use our whole device. <coughs> so uh, we try our best to leverage uh, on the existing uh, process flow. The process uh, simplified process flow shown on the, in the figure on the left uh, is the uh, is for how device fabrication. You can see most of actually uh, almost all steps are from the baseline process, meaning we introduce minimum impact on the baseline. So the only thing I need to highlight over here is the how layer implant. So basically for this layer implant, we have two options. Uh, first of all, you can use the existing recipe from the baseline, meaning you don't introduce any uh, additional uh, process steps. So by doing so, you can achieve a, a, like a zero additional cost 
you can, meaning you can just whatever use whatever well available in the baseline and introduce a whole device at zero additional cost. Another option is uh, you, uh, the customer can choose to use a uh, dedicated hold implant layer. By doing so, uh, the customer will have the freedom to tune the hold uh, device performance. And after the hold device uh, were fabricated, uh, they went through the fully automated e-test. In Global Foundry, we have a device, very good uh, e-test system for hold devices, have very throughput and uh, high accuracy. The figure on the right uh, shows the typical uh, top view and the cross-sectional view of the hold device. It has a uh, feature of four terminal, and uh, this is a cross-sectional view. You can see it's the N-type hall sensor, and uh, over here is the uh, deep trench isolation I mentioned earlier. Next, I will talk about the uh, results achieved in this work and the implications. So first of all, this, uh, this is a typical uh, v hall versus magnetic field uh, for a typical hall sensors. Basically, there are three devices shown over here. There are 130 PCD light and hall sensor, which is a green line, and 130 PCD and hall sensor, which is a blue line, and lastly, the 130 PCD P type hall sensor, which is a red line. You can see for both of the N type hall sensors, they actually show pretty good uh, sensitivity, which is the slope of these uh, uh, curves. For the P type hall sensor, the, the sensitivity is lower due to the low uh, hole mobility. All those devices are designed for low power application. Uh, they only require 50 microamp uh, operation voltage. It can go down to 10 or uh, 20 microamp if required. So they draw very minimum power from the circuit. This is the sensitivity versus resistance performance of the device shown uh, in this work. We, uh, we cite some of the reference in the from the literature uh, for benchmarking purposes. You can see uh, for our 130 PCD, uh, uh, the Hall device performance is quite decent. In fact, for the POR structure, we achieve uh, 418 volt per ampere Tesla. Uh, if I we think uh, this is one of the best in the market offered by silicon foundries for the time being. Uh, we have another uh, variation of the Hall device, which are which higher uh, resistance and even higher uh, current sensitivity, which is uh, close to 900. So for in the meantime, for our 130 BCD hall device, it's also like show a very decent uh, sensitivity of 330, 60 uh, volt per ampere Tesla. So uh, all these devices, I think, uh, they are quite decent and uh, among all, one of the best uh, in the industry. And uh, for the 130 BCD, uh, I'd like to highlight that these are all uh, free devices from the baseline. So there's no additional mask added. So besides the sensitivity, another uh, concerning factor from the designer when they look at the device is uh, <coughs> offset. Uh, it determines the performance of this uh, device. So uh, we have done a lot of work on uh, optimizing the offset voltage uh, on the, uh, from the structure point view. So you can see that from the structure A to structure B, there is a quite significant reduction of offset voltage uh, achieved by ulti uh, structure optimization. Besides the uh, uh, sensitivity and the offset, uh, we also test the de uh, device under a different operating temperature uh, from a very low temperature of uh, minus 40 degrees C up to 125 degrees C. You can see this is a sensitivity variation with the temperature. It shows a quite stable uh, performance and uh, uh, it does, there's no like uh, sensitivity, sensitivity degradation from the environment. So by proper like uh, temperature calibration, the designer can use it uh, under a wide range of temperatures. So lastly, uh, one of the major applications we foresee for how device actually is some automotive application. So uh, besides uh, the good performance and uh, uh, lower offset, we also test the device under like automotive uh, uh, stress environment. Uh, for this one, we test the device under 0.1 mA uh, under 150 degrees C for a very long time of period. For this one, uh, the resistance change of the whole device actually is very minimal. You can see up to 1,000 hours stress, the resistance change is uh, less than 0.01%, demonstrating these sensors are suitable for automotive uh, applications. This is automotive grade zero uh, test uh, conditions. 
So in conclusion, uh, today I share with you our low power high sensitivity uh, system mount chip, how effect sensor technology uh, on our point one eight and point one three technology node, and this will be further extend to other more advanced technology node in the short while. High uh, foundry manufactured high sensitivity SI of uh, five hundred eighteen volt per ampere Tesla is achieved uh, by our one hundred thirty PCD high device sensor without adding additional mask. The so offset voltage of a more than uh, reduction of more than fifty percent is achieved uh, by structure optimization. And lastly, the device show very stable sensitivity over a wide range of operating temperature and pass the uh, automotive grade uh, zero reliability test. All the devices shown in this work are available for manufacturing uh, right now, and we have reg regular MPW uh, for product prototyping. And uh, we also welcome uh, collaboration from industry and academy. If you have any, uh, you have interest in our device, you can drop us an email so we can discuss further. Yeah, I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you for your time.